to go. And yep. I, I'm honestly not uh, sure which one was better. He decided this one, and he was a little bit weak to face damage, and that's yep. exactly what happened. But yeah, very well executed from Justin. I really like the aggression he made, but now there is the priest, and that might be a different story, because I guess uh, the rogue's favorite class to face is the priest, right? Right. So. I mean, this is a difficult matchup for sure for the priest, but far from unwinnable, I would say, because it's not like the uh, some of the control priests of olden days where you didn't really have a win condition. You just kind of removed and removed and eventually played a big couple of minions and got the board that way. This one has a tremendous amount of burst damage, which Quest Rogue traditionally is quite weak to. Yeah. If, if you don't play any minions, then they can't heal up with Vicious Scale Hide, and then you start to really pressure the Quest Rogue a yeah, lot. Like, uh, on the other hand, like uh, you kind of have to play Alexstrasza if you want to put, uh, a good point. put uh, the Rogue down, and if the quest is finished by then, and uh, and the rogue player saves the, the scale height for, for that yeah. moment. He comes back to 23 if he plays to scale height, which is quite convenient and quite difficult to reach. Yeah. So uh, I guess like this is still one of the favorites. Uh, uh, it might be the single one matchup you would choose to play as a quest rogue player, or maybe it could be like um, maybe Control Warrior. Yeah, but, I think Odd Warrior but, is the but, number one. <laughs> but uh, like it's definitely a very massive favorite. So, Agreed. So yeah, we will see. How this goes. So, um, some players even keep Valira because they feel like the matchup mm. is so good that you can just keep the Valira not to run out of gas because, like, if it's yeah. like a last card, you, uh, you can just uh, a little bit struggle in terms of resources. But, but Maligo thinks otherwise. Like, obviously, the most important card is like, like the Minstrel or yeah. the card draw chain because uh, you definitely want to finish the quest with some value card. Like, you don't want to bounce the Glacier Shard all yeah. over again because it doesn't really matter whether right? you finish the quest turn five, six, or seven. It's more about like having the overall resources because uh, the priest can still clear. Uh, obviously, Undoing doesn't clear all the five fives anymore, yeah. but there's still Psychic Scream or, exactly. or the other clears. So. And I think for, for Malagos, I, I like tossing the Valera because, uh, like you said, you know, the fear is you might run out of value, but I think the much more likely way you lose in this matchup is the priest sticks a board that you can't deal with because they have a decent amount of minion pressure. As we see with Scale Worm, Twilight Drake in the deck, even Dust Break, mm -hmm. it can be pretty good tempo in the early game. Yeah, I am still not sure if I agree with bouncing the Vax Elemental like this. He's still okay. too far away from finishing the quest. And if you draw like Snovice Engineer, suddenly you cannot bounce it back and get the extra card. So it's true. So yeah, I, I would approach this game quite differently, I guess. So we will see how it will work for Malagos. Most likely it will work for him because the matchup is really right. good. But it, it does mean that if uh, a Twilight Drake is played or any minion that the, the panda can die into, we could see Sonya attack in and then bounce the Sonya back to Sonya. hand. Yeah. Which is like, you know, it, it, it's not, uh, it doesn't do that much, I suppose, but it's... It's something, yeah. It's something. It's good least, yeah. to spend your turn. But now we, we saw, like, the Novice Engineer, and now, obviously, Oligos would be really happy to be able to bounce it back. <laughs> like, uh, the way how you can finish the quest, the interesting way, is that you play Brewmaster and Brewmaster and bounce right, it back yeah, all, yeah. All, over the, uh, all over again, because, like, for four mana, you get a, an extra charge for, for the, on a quest. Um, but now it's like uh, very unlikely it will survive because uh, right. your opponent is aware of that, so he will immediately play the play the dust breaker to to kill it. So um, it's very hard to tell. Uh, say what's what's the best play here. You can still bounce the novice engineer. You definitely bounce the brewmaster with brewmaster overpassing. So yeah. but uh, he prefers to, to I take like the this engineer. But uh, now the dust breaker is. Uh, you know, obviously not that pleasant for him. Yeah, and this is this is an interesting result of Saiyan's play, because we've been focusing almost on Malagos's play at the start, because obviously it was by far the most interesting compared to the Priest's early game. But Dustbreaker for Saiyan was available last turn, and he just passed it up. He didn't want to kill the one panda, because he thought it wasn't quite valuable enough. So instead he saves both Dustbreakers, plays it now, and he's able to play the Power Word Shield on the same turn. It works out pretty well for him. Yeah, it worked pretty nicely. Um, like as I've mentioned, like it's kind of small victory in an early game right. for Justin, <laughs> but it's still it's something. long journey he has to go <laughs> to win the game. So, but yeah, uh, the early game went uh, pretty pretty nicely for him. Damage starting to rack up now for Saiyan. just with Alex Straza, Holy Fire, Mind Blast, Mind Blast. That is kind of a lethal setup. It's obviously yep. incredibly unlikely to work, but it, you know, it sets your opponent to 15 and then you have 15 burst damage. It's something for Saiyan to consider. Yep, it's like there's no 
you know, scale high tet and uh, <laughs> also the quest is uh, not uh, not finished. So. No Valera as well, which would counteract that pretty nicely. So now I expect to see Novice Engineer and Lab Recruiter on it. Eventually there might be a Vanish played, but... Yeah, I'm looking at... Like first you play Novice Engineer every day and yeah. you just see what it brings. Like the other option is to play... Like Sonia and rip uh, and straight, but um, oh, that's true. Yeah. Oh no, the one one. Yeah, sorry. I mean, I was going to say that what you could look at is just using the novice engineer to draw, not necessarily to complete the quest, because as soon as you get boar or deck hand, you just go off with Sonia or the scale mm -hmm. hide, and then you can complete the quest that way. Uh, but this kind of leaves a nice double option open here for uh, Malagos, where he can either continue completing the quest with the novice if he wants to go down that route, or he could switch over to mm -hmm. the Sonia route. He's got a lot of options open. Yeah, now I guess uh, I would like to see the trade and play Prevanish. Hmm. Simply because you get a you get a novice engineer back, so you just one one tick away. So um, I like it a lot. And because like the Vanish is hmm. not that super valuable, it could be used for 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 burst damage, but yeah. uh, but. Uh, and, in general, you you don't need it that much in this matchup. Yeah. Like you just need to finish the quest. Now with the scale height, you can heal back, and you know if you finish the quest reasonably fast, fast enough, then then the game should be yours. I mean, I was going to say I find this fairly surprising because I think again the one thing that Malagos really needs to be afraid of, or one of the main things, uh, is say in sticking a board, which is you know not impossible. He's got a lot of minions in the deck, a lot of those powerful dragons. But I guess when he's so close to completing the quest now, he'll be able to just deal with the board with like his minions. Board? He doesn't need the Vanish. Like he has a sap, so if he would true. wouldn't have the sap, it could be a different story. And he also has the scale height plus Sonia, so he's not that afraid of, uh, you know, minion being sticked around. So. Yeah. so I guess that's completely fair and fine. And he, he was lucky enough to get a Shadow Step. Now he still has uh, 10 cards exactly, so not, yep. not necessary to play the prep first. So he can just uh, get a crystal core, and I guess he will just uh, put the quest down and, and probably just charting the, the Drake. Yeah, the prep makes this a lot nicer. Uh, because otherwise, you know, he would maybe have to like load up minions on mm -hmm. the board this turn and then play quest next turn. But obviously, he knows there's a Duskbreaker in hand after he bounced it back, yeah, so. which means you really don't want to develop minions until you're playing the quest. So this prep makes it a lot smoother. So yeah, I, I guess uh, the the sep is coming down, and the, the shard or the vax element for both is pretty good. Or he could play both and use the coin, but um, he would love to coin a valira if he would top deck it. Or sometimes you oh, wanna yes. wanna keep keep a coin uh, for vanish turn, like be able to play more right. charge minions. So so the coin could be still valuable. On the other hand. Like it was possible that he's missing the four damage, so the decision was definitely very close. So the important thing is here for Saiyan is that as he starts to look at roots of burst damage, which is absolutely going to be on his radar for what his win condition will be in this matchup now, he knows that there is a Zilliax in hand. Mm -hmm. He does not know that there is a scale hide in hand, so maybe he'll make the calculations that he knows his opponent can heal for exactly five, and then after that, just try and pray that they can't heal up anymore and set up mm -hmm. lethal that way. Because obviously, if no defensive capabilities are set up on this turn, Alex face and then attacking with mm -hmm. the four, that's still potentially lethal for saying where he's at. I'm not sure I like uh, the Sonia here because, like, yeah, you get a lot of value with that. But on the other hand, you could just wait after Alex Straza and play Sonia right. and Scale Height to yes. trade it away. I think I agree with you, actually, because it, there's, it's not like he's running out of stuff to do on this turn, necessarily. Like, he didn't have that much res uh, resources. But on the other hand, like, now he can place the Lab to shuffle free Sonia's back. Mm. What do you want to shuffle the, the scale hides themselves? Like, I think one scale height is uh, enough. Good like, enough with uh, the like Sonia. With the Sonia, like, the, 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 the priest doesn't have that big amount of a minion. So, so now you just uh, clear the whole board. And do you play the lab recruiter? That's the question. And yeah, just clearing up the entire board here and starting to develop. It does make it a little bit vulnerable to Psychic Scream, but I mean, this is the point you brought up right at the start of the game so perfectly is the fact that Alex Straza is a minion. You would much rather play nine mana, bring your opponent down to 15 0 0 yes, rather than the 8 8 true. here. Like now, this uh, <laughs> Sonia has to be dealt, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, uh, 
if you just play Alex, yeah, you can close your eyes and play Alex, but you even know it, uh, about the Zilliac, so... Right, it's so, never ever lethal on the following turn. So, you never have a lethal, so, like, I yep. like killing Sonia, um, and... Doesn't feel good, though. Well, like, uh, the issue for, for Maligos might be the, the, the amount of resources, but <laughs> I guess this helped a lot. Yeah. Um, and I guess the, the main saving grace for just saying here is he's not actually under that much pressure. As much as he could be uh, uh, facing down a quest rogue most of the time. Not many charges yet, unless the uh, the minstrel can find them here. And okay, now the damage is actually starting to pile up. Yeah. This is starting to get the scary. The question is, do you play a lab recruiter here? Um, he knows about Wanda's breaker. Obviously, he has to be aware that there might be second copy coming down. But mm. it's clearing the 7-6 as well, so... They'll leave him with the 4-1, uh, because there is a Divine Shield on, on the Vax, so... Yeah, I don't mind adding additional minion. You're also threatening up with the Lethal, so... Mm, I like that a lot, and yeah, just saying is in big troubles, but... As we mentioned, like, the, the matchup is bad, so... Mm. And in another weird situation, in the fact that he wished his Alex Straza was a was not a minion. He wishes his opponent's minions were five fives in this instance as well, <laughs> so that he could Shadow Reaper and win all of them away. But like you said, has to make do here. Okay. And, uh, with just clearing off as much of the board as possible, trying to stick anything here, maybe baiting out the heal from his opponent in the form of Zilliax and Scale Height just to stabilize. So this is nine damage. So even two more charge minions is not enough, but mm. uh, I guess there will be just a refill with, uh, with fresh minions. Hmm, and Alex Raza is not lethal, even if the board stakes, so... so the Zax comes down, which is uh, quite of a waste, but on the other hand, now you just need to set up some some, some clock and yeah. you will be fine. So now this uh, trade into 7-2 and I guess you should smork with the rest. I like that a lot. Yeah, just set up lethal, make him unable to play Alex Raza without just dying on the spot. I think this is a really nice play. Ooh, Omega Medic is some quick heal, like if we, we can see Omega Medic Holy Fire on this turn. But then he's starting to throw away his win condition, which he really, really does not want to do. No, I guess there will be so, just another board clear with Duskbreaker. Yeah. And he can connect face, but... You know, like, his uh, life total is, uh, you know, uh, r running low a lot, so... Yeah. And with the boar taken out of the way with the trade, which, I mean, I have to imagine he's leading towards. Um, then, like you said, the amount of burst damage available to Malagos is very low, because I believe he's just playing the uh, yeah the one t Stone Tusk or list that most people have switched over to now. Yeah, but... Oh, okay, that was... That was nice. Uh, it works against the Alex as well, so... Yes. So I guess now you can just Valira and Smork, or... You can play Scale Height and Minstrel and um, keep the pressure because you can play Valira the turn after Alex Traza right. as well. But hmm. it's definitely close. But, but uh, I guess the idea behind this play is that you, you just want to put more minions on a board because you're not afraid of uh, of AOE because you have well, enough resources to refill with Valira. So yeah, uh, I wouldn't be surprised to just see killing the free one and uh, trading the Scale Height and going face. Still at 30, you threaten with the lethal, I guess, again, so no space for playing Alex Traza. Yeah, he needs to think about how he's spending his mana, because you want to have that 1-1 one, one dagger equipped at the end of your turn, if possible, because you might play Valyra next turn, and then you want to be able to charge your deck hands. Yeah, but he just goes on a board. Fair enough, yeah, yeah. Like you said, he's clearly not that invested in playing Valyra, because he's just winning anyway. Healing, removal, board pressure, turn after turn. But Malagos is really unable to stick much of anything. Well, now mm, there's no real threat of lethal, so yeah. I guess it might be the time to sneak in Alex Traza. Mm, yeah, I mean, <laughs> your opponent has a scale height on the board. It's the yeah. absolute worst case position to play it. Like, if you yeah. play Shadow Reaper Anduin, that doesn't like make him any more likely to win because you can't get anywhere near lethal at 30. Yeah, well you can you can go undo in and kill the scale hind, that's the other option. Yeah. Because like uh, it's very realistic to uh, to exp expect at least one heal and then yeah. double mana by the holy fire is not enough. So 
We need a little bit more burst, which Anduin provides. So. And even though they are very, very likely to have drawn through to the second scale hide and Valera at this point, I guess Saiyan's out is hoping that it's the last card in the deck. Like, it's super, super unlikely, but it's possible. Well, actually, now he knows it's literally impossible because only one minion was drawn off the deck hand, so every single minion in the deck has been drawn now. So he should potentially mm -hmm. have pretty perfect information about what yeah. his opponent's hand is. He knows what's going on, and, yeah. uh, and uh, Maligos knows that if the Psychic Screen will be used to shuffle these minions back, he will have enough resources yes. in his deck. So. Good point. So, I guess there's no way just Saint can escape with victory this game. So. Yeah, it just feels like it's falling apart. He just doesn't have enough mana in a single turn. He needs to break his twig of the world tree in order to be able to pull this one back with uh, the Alexstrasza combo. So obviously, Malagos is thinking whether he should add more on the board. Because like if well, your opponent plays Psychic Scream, he doesn't develop anything. So. Yeah. So you don't mind it because you have a really strong refill. So that's true. You're pretty likely to find like a shadow step just for lethal on the or very close to lethal on the turn after. You can just keep the pressure up as the psychic scream is found for Saiyan, which keeps him alive for the moment. Yep. But didn't make any progress in yep. in terms of fighting lethal himself. So. I never thought I'd hear myself say these words, but psychic scream was just too expensive. Yeah, it's it just delayed for for a turn. <laughs> He's gonna be exactly in the same situation as he was like turn ago. So now the main right. is played. Draw, 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 draw. This draw engine is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> from Malagos. So now you want to put as much on the board as you can because uh, you want to threaten with this lethal. So if you put uh, just a minstrel, is it enough to threaten with the lethal? You have a dead hand plus Zola, so it's eight extra, so it, yeah. it might be enough, but obviously the issue is you're not drawing here with the Minstrel, which is not uh, making you happy, I guess. And like the Dust Breaker is very used, so like the only realistic clear is yeah. is the Psychic Scream, while the Minstrels are providing the refill after that in a very, very nice way, so I guess now it's just... Yeah, Minstrel plus uh, the Dragon Maul plus the Dustbreaker was not available as Saiyan. Has to throw that one down. Like you said, he was very unlikely to win that game. But it does now mean that we are at two games apiece. One final game of Hearthstone to advance through to the finals of WESG. Yeah, now, as we expected, there is a Priest for just Saiyan left. Yep. And there's a Hunter against it. 